Forget Me Too by Machine Gun Kelly. It's a song I'm talking you through today. Like all my videos though, if you've liked this video and found it useful, give it a like, let me know your comments, ask me some questions. And most importantly, if you haven't already subscribed, if you could do that, that would be fantastic and help me out tremendously. So what I'm gonna do in this tutorial, again, like all of my tutorials, I'm gonna play the groove up to speed first of all, then I'm gonna break it down with on-screen notation and go through it super slow so you know exactly what's being played. It's quite a fast track, it's around 110 beats per minute-ish. Um, we've got an intro to start with. Have listened to what it sounds like, it goes like this. So we've got quarter notes playing with the right hand, snare drum in this case is playing one, two, three, four, it's really driving this track, so your hands are going one, two, three, four, and your feet are in between, they're in the middle of these hi-hats, um, or quite a lot of the hi-hats. The first bar, we break it down, we're gonna go one and two and three, four and, and again, two, three, Four, one and two and three, four and. The second bar goes one and two, three and four. And again, two, three and four and one and two, three and four. Let's do the two bars in a row. It does repeat these two bars three times. Let's just do the two bars. Let's do the two bars twice. One two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, four, and second bar, one, and two, three, and four, beginning, one, and two, and three, four, and one, and two, three, and four. And this is with an open hi-hat, I played it closed there, but it's with an open hi-hat to give it a nice, trashy, rocky kind of feel. Um, once you've done them two bars three times, we've got um, like this last bar that goes one and two and three, four and. We've got a kind of choke on the and of the four. Choke is where you, you hit the hi-hat and you immediately close it, you immediately stop it, you stop it from continuing to ring. Okay, so you might want to practice doing your chokes with the kick. Let's do that last bar. Three and four and one and two and three, four, choke. And then you're in to verse one. Verse one, in fact, verse one and verse two, pretty much the same, really. Uh, we've got the same kick patterns. Um, it's a little bit different with the snare drum. The snare drum is on the two and the four this time. It's a two bar pattern. Have a listen to what it sounds like first, then we break it down. Sounds like this. So again, your hi-hats are playing quarter notes. One, two, three, four. Snare drum is playing the two and the four this time. I mentioned it's not like the intro on the one, two, three, four. It's just on the two and the four. The kick pattern is pretty much the same though. So let's break it down. The first bar, remember it's a two bar pattern of this first. The first bar is going to go one and two and three, four and. And again, even slower. Two, three and four and one and two and three four and the second bar we're going to not play a bass on beat one we're going to play a hi-hat we're going to go one and two three and four and again two three and four and one and two three and four let's play the two bars in a row slowly ready two three four one and two and three four and one and two three and four one more one and two and three four and one and two three and four and obviously build that up to speed might take a little bit of time but once you've got it pretty much got the track really so the pre-chorus, like this like little section um, before the chorus, 
It's a little bit different. Have a listen to what it goes like. It goes like this. So we've got this two bar pattern on the th uh, last time round, it goes to the snare and floor tom, I'm just playing eighth notes. But let's just talk about these first two bars. We've got hi-hat and snare playing one, two, three, four, and your kick is in between that. So that first bar, we're gonna go one and two and three and four and. Let's just get used to that. And again, ready? Three and four and. Hands, foot, hands, foot. Hands, foot, hands, foot, and again, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. Now on the second of the two bars, we've got a hi-hat choke, remember a hi-hat choke, it's where you open it and you stop it quickly to stop it carrying on. We're gonna go one, and two, and three, and. Four is a rest, it's where you kind of close that hi-hat and then an and on the kick back to the beginning. So it goes one and two and three and four and. And again even slower. Three and four and one and two and three and four and. Let's do the two bars twice. Here we go, super slow. Three and four and one and two and three and four and second bar. one and two, and three, and four, and beginning, and two, and three, and four, and second bar, one, and two, and three, and four, and. Does that three times round. Um, once you've done it and you're on the third time, you've just done that last bar, the second bar, the third time round, it goes to a snare and floor tom, one, and two, and three, and four, and. Then it goes into the chorus. Both hands together again. One, and two, and three, and four, and, and again, a bit quicker. Two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. Then we go into the chorus. Now the chorus, we've got loads of crashes. Same kind of groove again um, as what we talked about in the verse. It's all very similar, but we're on the crashes now just to rock it up, give it a bit of a lift. Um, have a listen to what it sounds like, then we'll break it down. Goes like this. So let's break this down. I really like this part of the song, to be fair. Um, we've got a two bar on the crash cymbal, repeats itself three times. I'm gonna play as a hi-hat for now, just so you can hear me clearly, um, but it is on the crash. Let's just do it on the hi-hat. We're going to go super slow. We're gonna go one and two and three, four and. So it's got a kind of a half time kind of feel to it because the snare drum is on the three. Let's do it again. One and two and three, four, and, and again, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, four, and, and then the second bar, no kick on beat, one again, we're gonna go one, and two, three, and four, and again, second bar, two, three, four, one, and two, three, and four, and again, Two, three, four, one, and two, three, and four. Two bars in a row. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, four, and one, and two, three, and four. Beginning. One, and two, and three, four, and one, and two, three, and four does them two bars three times and then it goes to a, an open hi-hat um, open a little bit trashy um, same kind of vibe we've got one two three and four and that's the first bar so it's kind of similar to the verse kind of groove do it again one two three and four and then the second bar one and two three 
and four. Second bar again. Three, four. One and two, three and four. Let's do them two bars in a row. Two, three, four. One, two, three and four. And second bar. One and two, three and four. Um, then it repeats, it kind of goes um, back to that crash again and it does it three times round and then uh, instead of playing what you've just done, uh, we do the first bar on the hi-hat, one, two, three and four and, and then the second bar we're going to go one and two three, and a four and again two, three, four, one and two and three. You don't really have to put the and on the high, you can just do one and two. One and two, three and a four. And then it goes into verse two. Now verse two, again, pretty much the same as verse one. Might be a couple of extra little crashes, but nothing I'm gonna like go down or, or talk about. I'm just concentrating on the main parts of this song. Then we've got the pre-chorus again. Um, We've, we've already talked about the pre-chorus once. It's exactly the same, but at the end of the pre-chorus, we've got a two-bar, um, I guess you could call it a bit of a drum fill leading to the second chorus. It's two-bar pattern. It's one minute 43 into the track. goes like this. This is quite tricky because it's so fast. It's just snare and floor time. It's not overly hard, but because it's, it's fast, you, you're going to want to make sure your hands stay in unison. It's quite easy when it's up to speed. If I do it on the snare drum, it's quite easy to start like this, both hands together, and then it ends up flamming. And you want it to be as together and as tight as possible. So the first part's nice and simple. One and two and three and four and. Then the second bar goes one and two and flam on the snare kick flam on the snare remember flam both hands together one hand slightly in front gives it that beefier attack kind of sound one and two and three and four two bars in a row three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and again two three and four and one and two and four and one and two and three and four. Then it goes into the chorus, second chorus, which is pretty much the same as what we've already talked about in the previous chorus, which is nice. Might be a couple of extra little crashes and tiny little drum fills. Again, I'm not too worried about that. Then we've got like the bridge part of the songs, two bar pattern. It's quite tricky. Um, goes like this. It's a two bar pattern, it's super tricky, it repeats itself seven times and then it finishes with eighth notes on the snare floor so I'm going into the next section. So the first bar, one and two and three and four and. Bell on the and of the three, open hi-hat on four, rest on the and of the four. Let's do it again, two, three, four. One and two and three and four. And again, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, and four, and. Second bar, one, and two, and three, and four, and. And again, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, and four, and. So the two bars in a row, slow. Two, three, and four, and. One, and two, and three, and four, and one and two and three and four and again one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and when I do the first bar I'm going right hand to the bell left hand to the open height so the first bar bass bass right foot left right on the bell left on the open hi-hat that's the sticking I'm playing. Then it goes into the chorus. Um, now we've got this tricky feel, uh, and this is only my interpretation. It's so fast, it's actually quite hard to hear exactly what's going on. It's two minutes 30 into the track. Have a listen to it up to speed, then we'll break it down. So 
So I'm playing triplets here. I'm going one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, all hand to hand. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. I've got some open hi-hats that are kind of stabbing throughout this um, little section. Uh, the first hi-hat is your right, second is your right, third is your left. So the first hi-hat is your right, second hi-hat right, third hi-hat left. Right, right, left. And again, two, three, four. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. And then the second bar, we've got a hi-hat on the left. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet. Or triplet. Now it doesn't really matter uh, the toms here. The, the main part is this this open hi hat on the second um, second hit of this eighth note triplet. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet in. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet in. Two bars in a row. Three and four and one triplet. Again, go one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. In it is super quick, and you know, as long as you could just kind of blag it out, guess, and, and do anything around the kit as long as you're playing the little boom. Um, but you know, it's, it's up to you whether you, you you get that. I guess the main part of that are them stabs on the hi hat. That is, you can kind of hear that, but it is hard to hear the rest of it, um, and it's super quick. So you'll have some fun with that. So and then the rest of it is just the same as what we've talked about and that we've covered already. So it is a great track. You'll have some fun with this for sure. Let me know how you got on. Thanks for watching. See you soon.